there's snow on the ground and there's snow on the shed roof on the panels panels means no solar power for my batteries and equally it's minus silly something out here which means they wouldn't charge anyway because it has to be above five degrees for it to charge so there is no power and the BMS on the battery is tripped because if I turn the lights on there is no light so we have no power. Let's connect to the VRM and have a look. And interestingly, the other solar panels show the other charge control show because other devices. I don't know why that's doing that. But if we look in our smart shunt, it says it says it's 39%. Now that isn't right because we have consumed 114 amp hours out of 108 amp hours available, so that's not right. And our voltage is 16.9. Four, which is under two volts a cell, eight cells, something like that, 16 volts. Yeah, but just over two volts a cell. So these batteries are flat, so that should be on zero, but I don't know why it's saying that. And if we go to our charge controllers, we can see that they've disconnected because they're on the BMS side. So when it goes in, you can see, even though we've got some power on the panels it is all over the place because there's snow on the panels and the battery voltage is 0 0.01 because the BMS has disconnected which means everything's disconnected. If I turn on the inverter there is nothing. Now what's quite interesting is normally in the past I've had to actually short together the output of the BMS to get it to come back to life to turn on the charge controllers. But because these Victorin charge controllers can charge a dead battery, these are powering themselves from the actual solar. So even though there is no solar power, they're still on and there's no power from the battery. And that's how come we can still connect to them. And how come we can still see them here? Because these are getting a small amount of power from the solar, but you can see the lights flashing then. Um, so they're working. So what should happen in theory is when the temperature, which is displayed somewhere, some of this is temperature. Uh, temperature, there you go, minus one up there. Or one degree C. Oh, it's positively balmy. So when it gets warmer and we get some sun, these should automatically charge up the now bat the now dead defunct battery that's turned off. That's the plan anyway. So we'll see if that actually happens. So I shall come back in a few days and we shall see. All right day two and snow is still covering on the panels so the only thing this battery is powering now is the smart shot that you can just about see flashing oh no it's a light down there what's that light flashing for oh that's the um, battery protect monitor thingy from Victron and so it's powering that and the smart shot that's the only thing that's this battery is powering now because the BMS is off and I've wired the battery protect and the smart shot before the BMS which is kind of recommended anyway so yeah, we'll see what happens so if you want positive and positive, jing, negative or negative, jing, and we're reading 16.6, that's quite low, each cell is 2 volts, that's not bad, well 1.8, that's bad, um, 1.9, that's bad, 2.09, Okay, oops, 1.9, bad, 2, okay, One point nine. hey, that can't be right, 2.0, 2.85, that was nearly fully charged cell, so how's that working? That shouldn't be 2.8. Hmm, that's heavily out of balance. That, if that is true, that could explain our odd readings. 2.8. How bizarre. That kind of makes me think the balance is not balancing. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we need some more sunlight, don't we, immediately to charge this up. Now, luckily, I'm doing this now because sunlight is forecast, rain is forecast, snow should clear. So, and that's going to happen tonight. So, tonight we get rain, 
tomorrow we should get sun. And then these things should charge that battery. So even though they're disconnected, so I can prove that to you now. Because if I go over to voltage, we should see on the battery input, zero or nearly zero. And what do we see? Do we see zero or nearly zero? We see nearly zero. So there is no battery to these. These are only being powered by the solar, which is covered under an inch of snow. So quite impressive these are still being powered. So we just got to wait now, and hopefully the battery doesn't get too low. It shouldn't do, because we can see how much current draw is the smart shunt pulling. Let's go to current two amp setting, because it should be less low. We'll go onto the main negative cable, because that's the easiest cable to get to. DC. It's on two amp, isn't it? Oh, you stupid thing. This stupid switch again. Eighty two milliamps. Oh, well, it could be. Let's try it again. I'm getting dodgy readings here. better. No, I'm not really getting a good reading off that. I'm hoping that's not going to be much. I mean, looking at the data sheet and see how much the smart shunt takes. Can't imagine it's any more than a few milliamps. But we'll see. Right, anyway, for now, I'll um I'll come back when it is charging and the sun is off. So it's the next day and it's raining, but at least it's charging, which means if I flick the switch, we have light, the battery is reconnected. And let me show you what the app looks like. So in the app right now, we're getting 22 watts, which isn't great, but it's, you know, it's more than nothing. And our voltage is 24.9. So we are slowly getting there. If we go into our shunt, we can see, Forty-one percent. Ignore that completely. Current is currently zero. That's because the light's on. If I turn the light off, it should go up to yeah, 0 0.6 amps, which is low, but we're charging, and that's all we really care about because we were so so low, the battery was in a dangerous state. So now we can turn the light back on, and we'll measure the battery and see if it's in balance. Again, apologies for the bad lighting, but this is the best that I can do because. I'm not really that fast. And first sale, I'll read the vultures out to you. 3.1. Whoa. Then we got 3.1. 3.1. 3.1. Oh, look at that. 3.1. 3.1. Uh, where's the other one over here? 3.1. 3.1, it's in balance again. So the out of balance situation was just purely down to such a low set of charge. But anyway, it's recovering now. So I'll leave everything off, let these charge controllers charge up the battery to something sensible, reset the shunt so it's reading zero, and uh, we'll go from there. But for now, that's it, I think, because this video's gone on too long, and I will see you next time. Bye, for now.